Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I've got an unbagging. I'm not quite sure how these fitted in this bag. I didn't think that much out though escaping out the top. Uh, I've had a look to see where it was from and this is from the good people at DIYChoose.com I have worked with them before uh, and Wendy did send me an email and just say would I like some products to show my channel again free of charge I said yes of course that's fine um, but as usual it will be an honest review so let's get in and have a look and see what we got so we have one diamond painting we have two diamond paintings and we have, oh, three diamond paintings. Okay, that was in a diamond painting mood when I did this one. And have we got a special? Yes, we've got a special. <laughs> Shall we have a look at the special one first? You know me, if I'm ordering diamond paintings, I do like my specials. And this is quite a newish set that I've only just seen recently um, on the site. So I thought, oh, that's a new one. We'll give that one a try. I do like my specials. And uh, it's a shame this one didn't come last month for me. It would have fitted in so well with my little themed corner. Um, but I have still got my corner up. So it will go up there for a little while until I've decided what I'm going to do for the next one. Uh, let me know. I've thought about um, summer as my theme for my next corner when I change it out. So let me know. What do you think? Uh, put it in the comments down below. Do you think I should do a summer theme for my next corner? Or is there another idea you can think of? Something to take me through to uh, fall, to autumn, to Halloween. Um, and see what I can keep in my corner. I do like to just decorate that corner up. I don't have a lot of diamond paintings up, particularly around the house, other than in my craft room, that's full. Um, but I do like to have that one themed corner that I can just look and say, yep, that's my little corner in the downstairs. <laughs> okay, well, you can see that this is Tower Bridge. Uh, it's sometimes called London, London Bridge, but it is actually a tower bridge that opens up to let the cars through from the middle. So it opens that way. Very iconic. Um, there are two, uh, oh gosh, entertainment, no, not entertainment, like conference centres up at the top there. So you can hire the rooms at the top of this and you can actually, I think they do walks across it. I'm not 100% sure about that because... Everything's a little bit up in the air since the thing that happened a couple of years ago. And then we have the Queen Elizabeth Tower, which is the clock tower that houses Big Ben. Uh, not quite geographically to scale, as it were, but I just thought that was a really nice painting. I did think it was going to be smaller, to be fair. Um, it says it's 30 by 30. I was expecting it to be one of those little teeny tiny paintings. So I'm really pleased it's come that bit bigger. And then we've got the reflection in the water as well. Just thinking I've got some glow in the dark drills that might look quite good. And um, just added to this. Hmm. They do look quite big gems though. They all look as though they're a big size. So. Ooh, okay. So that's our little thumbnail there. As you can see. And it's all by moonlight. So it's very sparkly, very shiny. 12 different gems and colours. Um, it does say DMC codes, but again, I, I'm not sure that they are actually DMC codes or just like the manufacturer codes that they use for these paintings so that they know they've got the right drills for each painting. It is 25 centimetres that way by 25 centimetres that way, so it will be nice in a little 25 centimetre by 25 centimetre frame. Uh, 25 centimetres is, where's my inches, where's my inches? About nine and three quarter inches. So, you know, pretty standardish size. Uh, they do have quite a few in this series as well. There is one that has got, um, I think the Statue of Liberty on it as well. I'm trying to think what else was on it, but I just wanted the London theme one because obviously it was our jubilee, our platinum jubilee for our queen at the time. Now this one will possibly need ironing. Um, it's nice soft canvas, so it may flatten down okay when it's in like my folder and it's got heavy things on it. But sometimes these creases don't quite come out, so I may just give the back an iron, put a damp, not a damp, 
put a piece of um, cloth or a cotton tea towel or something just over the back or even some parchment paper. Uh, always iron on the back though, don't iron on the front and just iron gently. Just test a little piece first, don't, you know, possibly your edge so that you know whether you've got your iron the right temperature, don't burn your canvas. But yeah, and it just gets those creases out because otherwise sometimes these creases will stay in and once you've done it, you still do see the creases because you're not covering the whole painting um, with your drills. So yeah, it's just something that I do sometimes do. Right, okay, oh, right, okay, we've got some of those black plastic tweezers that I'm afraid are my least favourite. Um, I do know people use them and they are possibly good for children because they're not the metal ones and although they are a little bit pointy at the edges, I don't think you're going to do a huge amount of damage. She says, hopefully. <laughs> you never know with kids these days. <laughs> Um, and then we've got your pen, your butt and your wax. So great little uh, starter tool kit there. Um, plenty to get your uh, kit done, which that is wonderful. Okay, so yeah, it looks like these are all bigger gems. They're not your standard size. So this will actually do really quickly as well. Because the bigger gems obviously will cover the surface a lot quicker. So it'll uh, work up really quickly. Right, so let's have a look at these. They are, they're all big gems. Goodness me, are there two? Oh, there's two different sizes in them as well. Oh, wow, okay. So, yeah, if you can see um, on the amber ones, the like orangey amber colour, we've got like the middle size uh, rounds there, all faceted, and then the larger size uh, faceted there. Sorry, there's a little bit of glare. I've got uh, the curtains open today just to try and let some light in the room. Yay, nice and light today. So yeah, that's your two different sizes in your gems. So I'll call these uh, medium ones. Looks like the bridge are mainly this colour, which is like the uh, sea aquary blue. A lovely uh, contrasting that purpley there. It's a royal purple. Some lovely. Oh, look at those really sparkly silver. A bit paler purple. Ooh, these drills are all crinkling at me. Uh, a Goldy yellowy colour. That's your orangey ambery colour. A darker aqua colour there. So that's the smaller ones. And then oh that one's just got a little bit turned over look as it's gone through the machine. It's not destroyed any of the drills, so none of them are stuck to the packet, so that's no problem. Uh, the pale purple in the larger size, the yellowy gold in the larger size, the amber orange colour. The silver colour and the blue colour. So are they all? Let me just check. So we've got, oh yeah, blue, silver, amber, yellowy orange and purple. So in the colours, the only one we've not got in a larger size is the dark purple. All the others are in two sizes. So that's going to be a very nice painting to do. And I just thought I'd say it was something newish out um, and a very iconic image or images on it and that one is £3.64 there are quite a few different special offers on at the moment on shipping and postage there is a free gift offer as well if you buy so much and there are various different discounts depending on how much you spend um, I think by buying the, if I'd have paid for these three, I think I got 15% off or I would have got 15% off. So it's always worth checking. Uh, obviously, these are the offers I've looked at this morning as I've um, come to do this unboxing, unbagging. Uh, but it's always worth just double checking the website to see what the current special offers are. There always seems to be some really good offers on. And uh, if you need just that little bit of an excuse to think, mm, well, if I just add another one to my basket, I'll get some money off. It's a great way of saying, well, I've saved money. I've spent money, but I've saved it as well. <laughs> Sorry, no, I shouldn't encourage you. I shouldn't encourage you. Maybe that's just how I work it all out in my head. <laughs> okay, so that is project number one. A little diamond painting there. Let's have a look at the smaller one. Uh, I'm not sure whether this one was squares or rounds. Uh, did I tell you that one was £3.64? 
yeah, the partial drill crystal down paint in city building, three pound and sixty four pence. Now then, this one, I may or may not be able to get it done for Saturday, uh, for Sunday. I think the answer is probably no with everything else I've got going on. Oh, look at that, it's in bags, yay. Okay, we've got our little starter toolkit again, your pen, your butt and your wax. Just stand over there, uh, little painting so I can get this one on. But, oh, look, oh, and it's got diamonds on the back. I do like these bags with the diamonds on. Oh, look at those colours. Okay, so this one is Happy Father's Day. Yay! There are quite a few, again, different ones um, in like words and things, but this is one I've not seen before. I've seen a lot of Mother's Day type ones, but I've not seen a Father's Day one. And I just thought, oh, that's really good. And it's generic as well. So if you've got like a dad that doesn't play golf, doesn't go fishing, isn't into football or sport um it's just sort of generic just to say happy father's day and it's something they can keep as well you could either do this and put it onto a card and um, obviously it's going to be quite heavy because it's a full drill it says 30 by 30 i think it'd be about 25 by 25 so you know you've got to make sure you've got a substantial card to put something like this on because it will be heavy uh but otherwise it's quite nice if you put it in a little frame just to give to your dad uh, and it can hang on the wall. But yeah, I just thought that was pretty good. And actually the writing looks really good as well. Let me just flatten this cover down a little bit. I do like to try and get things that are a little bit different that I've not seen before. Um, so if you do see anything that you would like me to have a go at unboxing, I have had a request for a painting. Um, so I'm going to try and get that one and uh, show you that one on an unboxing at some point. I'm going to try and get that painting so that I can show it on the channel um, just so you can have a look before you buy really. And I do like trying different things as well. Okay, so this one is 22 colours and we have DMC coats. They are all capital letters. It's a lovely soft canvas this. I don't like this canvas. Really nice, very really nice to work with. Let's give it a quick measure. So it is, did I say the, uh, it's 25 centimetres that way, which is nine and three quarter inches by 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So, yep, same size as our little London scene there. But I just love the colours and I say the writing looks really good. That l looks good enough because they've not, um, oh, that R is a little bit pale. Maybe I will change the R out in the middle there and put it as the darker colour rather than that lighter colour there. But other than that, those letters look really good. Sometimes they'll put the letters in all different colours and they don't stand out as well. But I think these are quite nice. Other than that R, I'm a little bit iffy about that R. Oh. <laughs> um, purely because it is on a blue background as well. And yeah, okay, let's have a look at the key code then. So we have a D, there's no O, there's a G. Oh, there is an O, but that is a completely different colour. Um, what else have we got? We've got a G, they sometimes get muddled up with C's, but they're different colours. B, we've got an R, we've got a P. Have we got a P? Oh, there's a P and an R, but one's black and one's white, so that's good. And that is a wonderfully clear drill field. Look at that. It's really, really good. Okay, I mean, it's light colours, so it's going to stand out better anyway. But yeah, I think the charting on this is pretty good. Will I get it done? Where are we now? I've got seven days to get this done. Oh, I might be able to get it done because it's a lot of white background. When I get one like this, I do tend to do all of the largest colour first and then work my way in and save. I'll probably save the balloons till last because I like doing the nice bit last. <laughs> How do you work on yours? If it's a bigger picture, I work in sections and I use my little cover sheets. But on smaller paintings, I tend to do the whole thing at once um, and then spend hours looking for the one that I've missed and have to hold it up to the light to see which one I've missed. <laughs> 
Okay, let's have a look at these colours. Lovely bright colours, really good picture. I like this, like this a lot. Okay, so this is number 22. Is, is that 3865? That is 3865. I love these bags with the diamonds on. I think they're really, really good. They just look so professional. Yes. If you sat there with a bag with the diamond on, I just think it looks really good. It encourages you to work from the diamond from the bags because you think, oh, I've got diamonds on my bags. <laughs> That's my turquoise cardigan colour. Okay, and then a slightly darker, mm, airing more onto a, a sea blue rather than a turquoise. That one. That one is my peppermint cream green colour. Lovely. Okay. And then that's a deep blue, is that three? We have a look, number 18 is, oh, 375, oh, not 939. Looks like 939. I am getting used to my colours now. It's the one thing you always think when you uh, first start diamond painting and you hear people saying the numbers of the colours, you think, I'm never going to remember those colours. But as you're doing them, and particularly if you kit down and keep your drills, you do kind of get used to the colours. Uh, and the numbers that they are, and you tend to get your favourites as well. So, and we all know mine's hot pink. It's always got to be hot pink. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, two pinks, a palish pink, and then a more salmony pink. And then your lovely greeny colours. Oh, look at those. They're not turquoise, what colour? Maybe a bit jadey green, maybe. And then a paler green. And a pink colour. I'm loving the fact that these have all come in these bags. Oh, they're wonderful. They're just absolutely brilliant. I love it. And all these blues. Look, one, two, three, four different shades of blue. So we're going to get some nice contrast and it should hopefully make it look more 3D. We've got some yellow. We've got a tinned pea green. We have a nice sunny yellow there. And a sort of grassish green, although ours is starting to go brown because it's warm. And uh, what's that scrambled egg yellow, maybe? And then we have oh wow, look at that bright orange. That is super. Love that. Wow, you'd see that one coming, wouldn't you? Oh, imagine if you had a top in that colour and walked into a room, everybody would look. Wow. And then that's like a lilac-y bluey colour. So that's wonderful. And they're all in those wonderful bags. I'll definitely be doing this one from the bags because I've just got to use these bags. And then I will be keeping them afterwards because the bags are great. I love them. Okay, so that's canvas number two. And then canvas number three is a little bit bigger. Although it still says 30 by 30, but this looks really a lot bigger than that one. Mm, this one must be an actual 30 by 30. Okay. The Happy Day Father's Day is on the website at £2.93. And then this one is a £4.60, which is probably, it certainly looks bigger than a 30 by 30. But let's have a look and see what we've got. You can see how long it is compared to the others, but it just does look that bit bigger. Very strange. Okay. And it's a lovely hard glue canvas Ooh, with big key coats on both sides. And we have bags again. And this one is a square. So we have a pod glue square, which is wonderful because uh, I'm not a big fan of double sided tip. Look at those colours. Let's just see if we can focus without getting too much glare. I'll take them out anyway and we'll have a look through them. But yeah, wow. Love that. I've got a little bit different toolkit with it being a square. So let's have a look at this one. We have, uh, let's have a look. Let's get that out. Your clear pen, clear sparkly pen with your little pen grip. Just makes your pen that little bit easier to hold. With a single placer in one end. And we have, oops. Oh, I must get this redone. It's very, very tatty. Uh, is that a four placer? Yep, that's a four placer on there. Does it say on it? No, it doesn't. That's all right. I'm going to say, have I just done that and it says it on it? Has this one got anything on it? So is this a 10 or is it a nine? No, this is a 10. 
Wow, okay, so we have a four placer and a ten placer and it's a lot of white background so there is a lot of colour blocking so when we say colour blocking uh, what we mean is where rather than just putting all the drills on one by one you can actually use a multi-placer um, so you get these in your tray and you can pick up 10, play, 10 drills at once and put them down and that's what's called colour blocking putting more than one drill down at a time because it's all one big block of colour rather than having lots of different colours in one little space and that's called confetti. Just little terms. Sorry if you've heard all this before um, but I know there are quite a few new people to diamond painting at the moment. I'm getting quite a few people into diamond painting. I'm trying to change the world. <laughs> one diamond painter at a time. Okay we've got your little uh, tweezers. These are your um, metal tweezers they are a little bit bendable but they're okay you know they do the job they will take your drills on and off and um, they're not ones that I particularly use albeit they are excellent for uh, if you've got those photograph frames with the little things on the back the little like tabs on the back that you need to lift up it saves you using your nails if you use these nice square of uh, red wax so that's good and a little flat bottomed uh, boat with a spout. Boats with spouts are always handy because you can pour your drills out. You just have to make sure that you put something in the end if you are using this tray and shaking it. What I tend to do with one of these set uh, trays, if it's got a little spout and you've not got a stopper for it, if you just get your red wax that you get in most kits, um, take the top cover off so this is now sticky oops throw that away if it'll go in the bin and then just fold oop. <laughs> oh this is alive fold this one in half like that okay and then just stick it in the end there and then if you put your drills in it, they're not going to go anywhere because you've got a little stopper so it's just a quick way to use up some of your wax and have a stopper as well <laughs> and then when you want to uh, if you keep the cover on and say the plastic cover on that side you can still tip them out because it comes in and out easily so yeah just uh, something that I started doing when I only had these type trays just to stop my drills coming out because uh, I am very very clumsy as you possibly know from uh, watching some of my videos right so let's get all these put back in we'll leave that bit of wax in there as well and we'll have a closer look at the canvas and we'll have a look at the drills. And I say this one costs £4.60. I think I may have already said that. Can't remember. Goldfish brain. So let's flatten this down a little bit. Give it a bit of a switch. Always remember to keep your uh, clear covers the right way up. So if you do ever get a clear cover and you do take it off, then make sure when you put it back down that it is still the same way around. Probably the best thing to do if you are going to work keeping the clear cover on is put a sticker on this side so that you know this side has always got to be this way up. If you put this uh, clear cover down the wrong way around, it can take your glue off, it can uh, spoil your canvas. So this has obviously been um, converted from a cross-stitch pattern because it does have our squashed fly markings on there and there. So yeah, when I first got a canvas that had these on, I thought, oh, there's a squashed fly on this. And I was, oh, yuck, fly, fly, trying to get it off. And it's not. It's because this painting has been converted from a cross-stitch pattern, which um a lot of the diamond painting pictures are old cross stitch patterns or from a cross stitch pattern um, and it, these are like the centre markings for people doing cross stitch I think that's what I think they're the centre marking although there are certainly markings for cross stitching anyway so it's nothing wrong with your canvas it is just literally the markings there but yeah with my eyesight when I first saw it I thought oh it's a fly or a spider or something squished but it's not <laughs> So we have two key cuts, one down each side. Uh, you've got two little thumbnails, but I think you can see the picture. It's some gorgeous succulents, um, which, to be honest, they are my favourite garden plant because I think they just look so fresh 
when they're in the garden you know if you get like these tubs and things with them in the colours always stay, seem to stay and they don't go real raggy. You know, I love flowers, but I think sometimes flowers, if it gets rained on or petals drop off or whatever, they don't look nice for very long. Whereas if you get a succulent, they always just look the same. They look great. So I love succulents. Uh, my mum used to do a lot of alpine gardening, buy all the little alpine plants. And I always used to say, oh, get that one, get that one. She, Will you stop picking out all the succulents? <laughs> <laughs> she liked more of a variety anyway so we've got 30 different colors there's a mixture of uh, symbols and letters and numbers in the key code there we've got our dmc number and we've also got our how many drills are needed or how many drills we've got to complete the canvas and uh, it looks like the beefy B5200, B5 mouth's not working, has got nearly 5,000 drills, so there is a lot of white going around this edge. The only thing I'm not keen on with this one is the fact that the grid lines, with it being a square, these grid lines are quite darkish. And you can sometimes, if you don't get your drills straightened up properly, see the dark um, through the corners, uh, which I'm not keen on. But hopefully I'll get these put down and they'll be okay. With it being poured glue, then I tend to find that I can work better with poured glue and get them into the spaces better. It's a nice clear drill field. Uh, I think you can see, sorry about that little bit of glare. I think you can see there um, some of these with the black on the darker colour are a little bit harder to see but once you get say a light pad or when i get my magnifying glass and light over the top of it there'll be no problem with those can't see that there's any that are blurred or anything some of them just are a little bit dark but they are still nice and clear and let's give it a quick measure as i say it's, it, i think this is a true 30 by 30 it's not got the edges taken off yeah, that's 29 and a half ish, 11 and a half inches that way. By, yeah, 11 and a half inches, just over nine and three quarter inches that side. So it's practically a 30 by 30. Um, so yeah, good size. And I think once this is done, it'll look fab. Just love it. Look at the colours. Look at that with the big purple one in the middle there and uh, all those aqua blues and things. Really, really stunning. And so succulents are my favourite garden plants. Next to that, I like pansies because, again, they're really easy to look after. You just throw them in the garden and they just do what they like and they come back when they like. You know, They're a bit like a teenager that's been stroppy. You know, they, they just come out when they want to and they'll go back in when they want to and then they might come back out again next year or they might not. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. So let's have a look at these girls, gorgeous colours. And again, baggies, wonderful. All bagged up for you, ready to go. These aren't in any order, so I don't feel guilty about just tipping these out. <laughs> so that is your huge bag of uh, your bright white B5 200s. Look at those. They're looking pretty good. Uh, we've got any, can't see any knobbly bits as such, but I do tend to find, oh, we've got a, an escaping look. We've got a brown one's coming to join the white party there. We've just decided there's obviously more fun going on in this bag. Uh, yeah, I think they're pretty, they're like a bluey white, these really nice. But you do need to work on a canvas to know what the drills are like. So that's that one. And then look at all. Oh my goodness me. Did you realise there were so many different shades of purple and lilac and mauve? <laughs> look at these. Oh, they're fab. Love them. Absolutely love them. I'm going to really smile doing this painting because these are some of my favourite colours. Look at all these. Wow. So that, that is mainly the whole, I would say half of the um, colours are these because that's about half of the drills. Wow, 
Okay, so we'll put these in. I'm sorry whoever put these into this bag. I think they're possibly wearing number order. But I promise I will put them back in number order before I do them. <laughs> so our blues, we've got lots of... Oh, look at the shades of these. Oh, like sea blues and aquas. And, oh, these are gorgeous. Absolutely love them. That's a nice royal blue. And we've got denim blues as well. Your various shades of denim. That's a very deep blue. That's 2791. Oh, so they have got the uh, code number for the canvas on and they've also got the uh, DMC number on the bags as well, which is excellent. So that's all your blues there. Wow. Absolutely wonderful. Do you know it's making me want to go out and buy a tub full of succulents now? Because they do look nice in the garden and they stay looking nice. These are all your green. That's a greeny blue. Okay. Oh, we've got another blue there that we missed out on. 336. Okay, pop that one in there. So that's your greens. And then we just have a burgundy and a pale babyish pink. Wow. Okay. So we've got a square, a round and a special. Very pleased with these. Very pleased to see that this is an actual 30 by 30 in the square. Just gives you that little bit uh, as something different, a little bit of extra dimension. And I love the fact that it's poured glue, squares in poured glue. Yay, this is the future. Okay, so we've had our beautiful succulents with all those purples. We've had a happy Father's Day. Move all these kits out the way here. And then we have our special, which we like the specials. Well, I like my specials. Do you like specials? I love them, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Okay, well, that's my little mini haul for today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these with me. If you have a thumbs up, it's always much appreciated. And a big thank you to Wendy at DIY Choose for sending me these to look at and show you. If you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and see some of these done, see whether I get this one done in a week. Oh, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.